now let's understand what is exploration and exploitation and why it is important for our reinforcement learning okay so in rein uh, reinforcement learning the exploration and exploitation are two strategies that the agent can use to learn an optimal policy for maximizing its cumulative reward over time okay so exploration refer to the agent strategy of trying out new action to learn more about the environment w so when the agent explore it take action that uh, it have not tried before or action that it has tried but not frequently this allow the agent to you know discover new state and learn how to behave in those uh, state or situation okay now exploit uh, exploitation on the other hand refer to the agent strategy of taking action that it believes will maximize you know its expected cumulative reward when the agent exploits so it uh, you know it takes the action uh, that it believe it will be the best based on the current knowledge of the environment this allow the agent to maximize it cumulative reward in the short term okay so let's take an example to understand it better so for example suppose an rl agent is you know learning to play game of chess okay initially the agent may explore different moves to learn you know about the board position and their consequences however as the agent learn more about the game it may start to exploit its knowledge by choosing the move that it believe has the highest probability of leading it to win if the agent only exploit obviously it may get uh, you know stuck in a sub suboptimal policy if it never tries out new action that could lead to you know better policy obviously it will you know get stuck in the sub suboptimal policy so on the other hand if the agent only explore it may not be you know able to make progress toward finding the optimal policy why because because you know if it just exploring i mean um it doesn't you know understanding which one is optimal policy obviously it will you know ne it is a never ending process right i mean exploring 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 doing nothing so so uh, so so therefore it is important for the agent to you know balance exploration and exploitation to maximum its cumulative reward over time now let's understand trade off between them how to basically uh, understand the trade off and i mean how to make them better okay so before that let's let me give an real life example so suppose you you are at home and you want to go to school okay and obviously there can be many uh, you know different path to basically uh, reach your school right so let's say you never explored uh, your area right so so d will you get to know what is a shortcut or in this term uh in the reinforcement term the optimal policy to reach you know the, uh a school or home no right obviously you have to explore your area then only you will get to know what is the optimal policy i can have right or you can say shortcut i can get to home either school or home right so this way uh the exploration and exploitation uh it is necessary to have a balance in between them now let's understand what is the trade off between them okay so exploration uh, and exploit exploitation trade off in in reinforcement learning this refer to the balance between trying out new action that is exploration or to learn more about the environment and taking action that agent believes will maximize its expected cumulative reward that is you know exploitation so agent so the agent must find a you know balance between these two term to maximize it cumulative reward over time so there is two way to do it one is epsilon greedy another one is boltzmann exploration okay so in boltzmann exploration what happens is uh it is a you know strategy for balancing exploration and exploitation in reinforcement learning so it work by assigning a probability to each action based on the expected reward and the you know choosing action probab uh, you know probabilistically uh, based on these probabilities so the temperature parameter control the degree of exploration versus exploitation with temperature 
with higher temperature leading to more exploration and this way uh, i mean you can you know understand the boltzmann exploration now uh, other one is epsilon greedy so epsilon greed is a simple strategy for balancing uh, you know exploration and exploitation in re reinforcement learning so it work by taking the action that has maximum or you can say highest expected award uh uh with the probability 1 minus epsilon and you know taking the random action with uh probability epsilon the parameter of epsilon will control the you know degree of exploration and exploitation we'll see in example these all term also and obviously the higher higher value of epsilon leading to more exp exploration so obviously most of the time you will see that we set our uh, epsilon value to either 0.7 or 0.8 so that it you know it uh, so that we should make a balance in between them okay so now what is the difference between uh, these two uh, epsilon greedy and boltzmann exploration so in both of them uh, the agent balances exploration and exploitation by taking action that have highest expected reward right and occasionally taking random actions uh, actions or like uh, or you can say less likely actions to gain more information about the environment but in general uh, uh this is not in uh, in the case of real life situation right in most scenarios you would be you would you know explore only a small fraction of all the possible action because you don't know all the actions right uh so uh, so you have a you know uh, in your area there can be you know multiple you know n number of schools right so after reaching uh, one school obviously you will not going to explore the second third one right or you will explore the second third but you will not explore the fifth sixth one right and that is what basically uh, i am telling so in real life situation you will not going to know how many you know uh uh possible uh actions you have you will only get to know about small fraction okay so let's say what if they uh, there exist an action there can get uh, they that can get you a lottery so wouldn't you go exploring more but obviously at this time you also don't know uh, uh, i mean don't want to lose out the benefit of current action right in in case you don't find good option while exploring obviously and this is all our real life situation because in real life situation you only know uh, few schools uh, uh, but uh, but obviously in 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 e in your area there can be you know n number of school but obviously after you know finding the best one let's say the second or third one you will not going to explore the uh, fifth or sixth one and that is what exploration and exploitation tells us about so once uh, we have you know accumulated uh, best uh, reward we will get to take that action and this is what uh, this exploration and exploitation tells us okay hope you underst understood the uh, terminologies and when to use uh, what and what percentage of uh, you know epsilon you will be choosing okay so little so in the next tutorial we will be learning about markov state okay